Fish aren't the most exciting of animals. They can't be taught to jump, roll over, or play dead. But that's not to say they can't learn any tricks. Say hello to Pavlov's fish. When these black sea bass hear a buzzer, they dash toward the sound in search of their reward. Just like training a dog, when a dog is a puppy, it doesn't know a whistle from, you know, anything else. And you train a dog by whistling and then pairing that with food. Food, whistle, food, whistle. After a while, that dog is coming on just the whistle. You don't need any food. And the same holds true with these guys. And we just do the exact same. Simon Miner studies fish behavior at the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. During the summer of 2008, Miner and scientist Scott Lindell decided to test whether sea bass could also be trained in the open ocean. If successful, they envisioned a new and environmentally friendly way to farm fish. Almost half of the cost of producing fish in a fish farm is the feed input, the cost of getting, making the food and getting the food into the, you know, feeding the fish. Um, so we wanted to let the fish free range and forage naturally for their diet, most of it, only use enough food to train them to uh, stay in a local area. What we've been doing from the beginning is teaching fish how to go from being spread out to a central location. And what we're going to do in the field is quite different. We're going to ask them to go from uh, being central to go and then spread out and then come back. Miner and Lindell built an aquadome big enough to house hundreds of sea bass. It took a day to assemble and drop it into the waters off Cape Cod. At first, the experiment worked. Just like in the lab, when the fish heard the buzzer, they swam towards the sound. But two weeks later, the unexpected happened. Other fish caught on to the fact there was an easy meal. And it wasn't the food pellets that we were dropping for the black sea bass, it was the black sea bass themselves. And we had bluefish, uh, a highly sought after predatory fish around here, um, come and munch on some black sea bass. Lindell and Miner aren't giving up. They find promise in the cryptic flounder, a bottom-dwelling and hungry fish that predators can't easily spot. But this is why I think these guys are gonna train up really well. It gives me a lot more confidence that these are the sort of things we need to try, even if they aren't successful right to our, our highest level of what we're shooting for, um, that we learn things that we weren't even, weren't even asking. And um, it's only through this trial and error that science ever advances.